All right, so today I'm doing some work here on my uh, jaw crusher. So if you've seen any of my other previous videos, you've probably seen this before working. Um, the issue I'm having is every time I crush material with this, I so I have the jaw gaps here set as small as I'll get. And basically, it's still got about a two and a half to three inch gap there at the bottom. And I bought this really to resurface my driveway. And when it's making material that's like this big, this is really not a very smooth, uh, drivable surface. So what I got is, was these, uh, I guess these are log, these are like log splitting wedges. So what I'm going to do is go underneath there and add these to the wedges. And I'm hoping, since these are pretty rugged, I can get them underneath there and I can drive them in. And I'm hoping what that'll do is I'll, that'll bring this plate here forward. That way I'll get like my, you know, half inch to one inch jaw gap that I'm going for. Of course, I'm going to have to work underneath this thing, which I don't really want to be underneath this 10,000 pound jaw crusher. I might be filming my death here, but... So these right here are the wedges. And as you tighten up uh, the threads on the bolt on the top, it pulls these wedges up which then pushes this whole jaw plate up here forward. So what I'm hoping I can do is get those wood wedges that I just bought in these gaps here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive them in. And I'm hoping that'll push this forward. That way it'll make that jaw gap a lot smaller. Right in here, there's two bolts. There's one here and there's one on the other side for that wedge. So I gotta undo those and that plate should move forward. All right, I got that pretty loose. I'm gonna try that first. Just gotta do the other side. I so may need to try just one side first. Wish I had a shorter hammer. these wedges up in there it's making my gap smaller but every time I hit one the other side here keeps falling out so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a measurement from here to here I'm gonna weld like a pipe in for both of these that way I can push them both up you know hit them both up at the same time or do one side and the other and the other side will pop out nine inches
Oh no. <laughs> Actually, that's good. All right, so I got my two wedges in under here. Um, I really wish I could weld them on here, but this thing is nowhere near where my welder is. I'm hoping that just, you know, the pressure will hold these in and they don't come out, but I guess the only way I would know is if I actually run this and see what happens. wedges there fell out. Kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. I just don't know how I could keep those up in there. I can't get the welder out there to weld them on. I don't I just can't keep them in there. I don't know how I'm going to do that. You can see the material too is making. It was working so good. It's like one inch stuff. Really, it's like one inch minus with some fines in it. That's right where I wanted it. You see how big the gap is there now. I'm gonna have to rethink this again, I guess. So here's where I'm at right now. Um, and I drove them back in here, down at the bottom. This is right where I want this to be. So I got it back to my uh, inch and a half tolerance. The plan is I need them just to not fall out next time. What I'm going to do is, I got some 2x4s here, and I'm just going to kind of stack them up. You know, I'm going to screw that one in, and I'll screw this one in on top of it. And then I'll do one more. So, really all that's going to do is I'm just going to screw them into this log, and that's just going to keep them from falling out there. So, um, And as this is running, this shouldn't, I don't think this moves that much. This is your jaw plate here that moves. But this part down here shouldn't be moving. But I'm gonna screw these in and then I'll, I'll uh, run it and see what we look like.
Alright, so here's that crush run material I just made. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, I'd say. Um, a lot of it is a lot of fines, you know, which is good. And then you also get some big pieces, you know, but nothing's really over. Everything here is about an inch. You know, there's a couple of big pieces like this, but it's so, they're so thin now that they're an inch that like, I think a lot of these, you can kind of almost just break up. Like a lot of these are getting so thin, you can almost just break them by hand, you know, so. I put this down in the driveway, I think once I run over it, everything packs in. It should break up over time. There's a lot of good finds in here to really, you know, smooth things out, a lot of small pieces, so. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, I guess. It's, uh, it's as good as I'm going to get it, I think. You can really tell those need new jaw plates because if it did have new jaws, it would have more teeth on them. And things like this would have gotten broken up again and, you know, you wouldn't have these big pieces. But they're flat enough and small enough that I think everything else will kind of fill them in, you know. So yeah, 